children welcome back to Rani ma'am's class today we are going to proceed with the second part of pronouns I'm sure that every one of you have enjoyed the first part of pronouns and have learned about the different types of pronouns right so today we are going to start with the other types of pronouns reflexive pronouns now what do you understand by reflexive pronouns reflexive pronouns are those which reflect upon or go back to the subject i repeat reflexive pronouns are those which reflect upon or go back to the subject like myself yourself himself herself itself ourselves yourselves themselves so these are reflexive pronouns like here from the example you can see are you talking to me no i am talking to myself here myself is the reflexive pronoun because the subject it is going back to the subject i i am talking to myself i hope you have understood about reflexive pronouns subject pronouns and object pronouns are there and the reflexive pronouns are there like i and me it becomes myself we and us ourselves you yourself they themselves he himself she herself it itself right so these are all reflexive pronouns now emphatic pronouns what do we understand by emphatic pronouns emphatic pronouns are those pronouns which are used for emphasis and have the same forms as reflexive pronouns emphatic pronouns are those pronouns which are used for emphasis and have the same forms as reflexive pronouns it usually comes immediately after the noun or pronoun although it may also come at the end of the sentence from this two example you will understand it in much better way he himself wrote the song so here he is the pronoun and it is emphasizing and the emphatic pronoun is himself he picked his son himself again here he is the pronoun and himself is the emphatic pronoun so pr this emphatic pronoun can be after the pronoun or at the end of the sentence i hope from these two examples it is much more clear to you now what do you understand by relative pronouns where that which who whose these are all relative pronouns relative pronouns are used to join a phrase or a clause with another in a sentence like here in the example peter is the one who gifted me a scarf so peter is the one who who is the relative pronoun because it is joining the two phrase peter is the one and gifted me a scarf so who is the relative pronoun it is made up of a fabric that is very soft so that here is the relative pronoun now what do you understand by indefinite pronouns pronouns which refer to a persons or things in a general way but do not refer to any person or thing in particular they are called indefinite pronouns means these are just general these are not specific those pronouns are not specific these are general like none one all some somebody these are indefinite pronouns like here in the example someone is at the door i do not know who it is it's not definite who is there 
so it means here that someone is the indefinite pronoun because we don't know about the person we don't know exactly who is the person so indefinite pronoun is someone i hope children you have understood the topic thank you children complete your book exercises thanks a lot stay safe stay happy